Hey, what's up guys? Chris M. Walker from Superstar SEO and Legit here. A couple days ago, I put out a video talking about how to start an online business and you guys loved it. It was really well received and I got some great feedback on it. One of the questions I did get was, I don't know what type of business to start or I wish I knew how to start an online business or where to start. I don't really know what kind of business I want to get into. So I decided to make a follow up video in today on that topic and what we're going to talk about is the five best types of online businesses you can start with little to no money. So these are for beginners, they're the best, they are, they're the easiest way to start businesses online and start making some money really quick. So, so I think it's going to be really helpful especially to those of you that didn't know where to begin or where to start and that sort of thing. So. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to show you the types of businesses, some of the advantages to them, and maybe some of the drawbacks to the different models as well. So that's what we're going to talk about today, the top five online businesses to start for a beginner, even if you have no money. So let's dive into it and get started. All right, guys, like I said, today we're going to be talking about the five best online businesses to start for beginners, even if you have no money. So. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do some examples. I'm gonna give you the upside and the downside of them, and we'll go from there. So the first one is marketplace freelancing. That means selling things that you know how to do on mm -hmm. sites like Legit and Upwork and I guess Fiverr if you have to, and SEO clerks and things like that. And I'm gonna give you an example here in a minute and kind of show you the sites. But basically, the upsides to it are. You sell what you already know, right? You already know how to make a logo or build SEO links or make a podcast or whatever it is that you know how to do. You already assume uh, you already likely have a talent that you can sell on there, so you don't have to come up with a whole new thing. There's no investment. You can sign up to all these sites for free and you get started right away. So is you sign up, you list your site, you list your service, and you get started. And the other thing is that someone else provides the traffic, meaning that while it does help and it is advised to send people to your particular service or your store or whatever you want to call it there's the site itself has some built-in traffic so it's not like a traditional freelancing business where you have to like go out and sell yourself just like you would in any other type of business so free marketplace freelancing i think is the best place to start and even once you scale to a certain point you can really make a lot of extra money doing it like it's not core to my business anymore, but we still make thirty to fifty thousand dollars a month in sales at it, depending on the month. So it's obviously a nice source of revenue for us. So let me give you an example. The one I suggest that you go with most is legit.com. Now, full disclosure, I do own this site, so you know, if that's the sort of thing that bothers you, whatever, but I mean I think it's the best one and I've built it based on my experience doing freelancing, but like I say, all you have to do is list your service here, whatever it is you know how to do. This one does press releases. This one creates logos, and you can list them from anywhere from 10 bucks on up to, I think we have some in the thousands. So, yeah, so this one's on up to $7,000. So if you know how to do anything there's categories for everything logo design image editing infographics seo you know video marketing mixing and mastering writing is a very popular one there's a lot of a lot of people making good money on doing that and then there's programming and whatever it is that you're good at you can list it and start making money right away by just coming up and registering for a new account you just click register put in your name email make up a username and password and it's agree to the terms of service and you register and you're on your way. Then you just go through and you list a service and there are other videos that show how to list a service on it, but without a doubt, this is the fastest way to start making money and it's one that you should probably do in addition to all the other ones that I'm gonna talk about today because it complements everything. You know, Whatever you do, there's gonna be other people that look for it. So for example, on my profile, because like I said, I still do this. Most of these are SEO, but there are other things that I just do or like other things that I sell, like my software, where is it, right here. <clears throat> I just list it on here because there's traffic and it's gonna get sales from time to time. You know, I have a consulting service on here. I have a, a, the Profit Academy Daily on here. So whatever it is you wanna do, whatever it is you know how to do, marketplace freelancing is by far the easiest 
and most scalable and most adaptable online business that you can start. And like I said, the, I suggest you start with legit.com. Obviously, I have a certain bias, but there are other ones. There's Fiverr, there's Upwork, there's SEO clerks, and there's probably some others that I'm not thinking of, Freelancer. So honestly, if you want to go this route, I suggest you list your, your service on all of them after you start with legit. So that's number one. The downside to this is the competition can be rough. So for example, let's go up to, let's look at writing again. If we went to blog posting, there's already people with hundreds of reviews. So you have to get a little creative in the beginning to establish yourself as someone that provides a good service. So you may have to either like offer a coupon or a review copy or something like that. Or pretty soon there's going to be a job board on here where you can, people will list a job that they need done so you'll be able to find people that need what you do that way and then there's also a community around it like a facebook group that will help you get started as well so that's kind of the downside is you in the beginning you are going to have to put in a little work to work to compete against the people that have been doing it successfully for a while that's the, really the only downside to it so that's online business number one is marketplace freelancing the next one is kind of what I talked about in the last video, but it really it applies to everything. And I didn't really know what exactly to call it, but I'm going to call it niche marketing. So what do I mean by this? Maybe you know how to do, I don't know, maybe you're a personal fitness coach or a dog trainer or you know how to do glass blowing or woodworking or something like that. This is where you build an audience and a list around the skill that you have and then you sell them products in of your own or of somebody else's in that industry. So for example, if you let's let's go with okay, I have someone who is a friend of mine that is a keto coach. Basically what she does is she teaches people how to lose weight and stay healthy through the keto diet and she also has several products that help with that. It's kind of an MLM business. But basically, she's selling physical products that are like supplements and drinks, and I don't totally understand all of it, but th that sort of thing. She makes money through that. She has a digital coaching program. So that's kind of one niche you could go in, and you can do that in any niche, right? You can do that with dog training, woodworking, all those things that I just mentioned. So the upside to this is, again, you're selling what you already know. I assume that you already are in one of those industries or have some expertise or some skill in it. If not, then that's fine too. You can go out and learn something and get good at it and sell that. There's minimal investment, like at least financial investment. There's going to be some time investment to build a list and get build a list, build a community and things like that to where you have enough of a traffic source that you can tap into it over and over. The upside is you can get started right away. So you can start doing that today, you know, building your list, going into Facebook groups, building a, a quick website, that sort of thing. And you can work in any niche. Like I said, over and over again now, you know, you can do it in, uh, I don't know, uh, bird cages I've, I've seen is one of them or, uh, Chicken coops is another one I've seen, believe it or not, and woodworking, glass blowing, metal sh sculpting, I think is what it's called. Whatever it is that you know how to do, you can create an online business around it. And then as far as like what to sell, uh, a good place to get inspiration for that is like clickbank.com. And what this is, is like a network of affiliate products you can sell and you could do that. And we're going to talk about affiliate here in a moment, but if you're not sure what kind of thing you can sell, you can look here to get ideas. Or you can even look here to decide what niche you want to go into. Maybe you just aren't sure. Like for example, the German Shepherd Handbook. Maybe you build your whole niche around training German Shepherds and I don't really know enough about dogs, but teaching German Shepherds and taking care of them. I, whatever, what type of food they have, you can sell a specific type of dog food to them. But you can build a whole niche around that. You can do one around horse training and so on. So my point is there's literally unlimited possibilities for something like this and you can just find it in any niche and if you're unsure you just come over to a site like clickbank and look through the different offers and get an idea of what you can do so you can see there's a paleo one here and so on so that's number two niche marketing the next one is affiliate marketing and this also encompasses things like multi-level marketing 
and basically anything where you sell someone else's product or service and get a commission. That's essentially what affiliate marketing is, is you pick a niche, or you don't even necessarily have to pick a niche, but you pick a niche, you pick a product, and you advertise it or review it or whatever, and you get a commission every time somebody makes a sale on it. So this one is actually what got me started in the internet marketing industry. So it still has like a, even though I don't do a ton of it, actually, you know what? I do make a good, I don't know, 25 or so K a month doing affiliate marketing. It's not like my main thing anymore, but it's how I started by making like little blogs that uh, ranked in Google for certain keywords. And <clears throat> then linked over to a product and when somebody bought that product after clicking my link I would get a commission for it. So it's really really powerful. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it You can have a blog or a YouTube channel where you review products Services and that sort of thing you can go to Clickbank like I showed just a minute ago and kind of get products from there and kind of promote those whether you rank them in Google or send ad traffic to them or build an email list and send it to that to them you can send product basically you can send traffic to anyone else's product dick that has an affiliate program and make yourself some n nice money i know some people that make a really really good living doing just this and the upsides to it are that you don't need a product you know you're promoting other people's things so you don't have to go through the trouble of creating a product and you or create and handling support and doing all the pain in the butt things that come with having your own product or business it's the closest thing there is to passive income so like once you get traffic consistently running to an offer like this you don't have to do a lot because you're just sending traffic to that's going to convert into a sale over to somebody else's product so once you get systems in place to make that work then you then you you're kind of set now there's no such thing as truly passive income but this is as close to it as you get and again you can get started right away you just go over to clickbank or to uh, JVZoo or any like major brand that has a site Amazon has a massive affiliate program and you just sign up and you start promoting products and services that you like I, I don't really have much of an example to give here but if you basically search any product review anywhere on the internet you're most likely gonna find someone that's doing affiliate marketing this is probably the one that draws the most people to internet marketing and I think it's great and there's just I don't know. I really do have a special place in my heart for it. I really love affiliate marketing. So that's number three, affiliate marketing, promoting other people's products and services and getting a commission on the sale. The next type of online business that you can start, and this one is probably the most accessible, but if I'm being perfectly honest, it's my least favorite. And that is, and I've lumped them all together. That's E-commerce, drop shipping, and print on demand. POD stands for print on demand. E-commerce is where you make a website and you sell a physical product, whether it's blankets, whether it's supplements, whether it's toys, whatever it may be. And you can get you can either make a website or you can sell on platforms like Amazon or eBay. Uh, drop shipping is similar, but what you're doing there is you're taking someone else's product and you're selling it and you're just having them handle the shipping and the customer service and things like that. So usually this is done through websites like Alibaba and AliExpress, but it, uh, it can be done through any site that allows drop shipping. Basically though, you're just selling, you're just the sales channel and they do the fulfillment. And print on demand is sites like Gearbubble and Teespring and uh, I don't know, there's a bunch of them, where you create an, a design, whether it's a t-shirt or a coffee mug or something like that, and you either put them on a store or you sell them directly and you're selling the item and they print it for you when, when, when it's ordered and they ship it for you. So it's kind of like drop shipping in that way, but you create the product somewhat. You create the design on the product. Uh, let's go check out a couple of examples. So this is an example of an e-commerce store. This is a store that I own. It's legitmerch.store. And it's where we sell branded t-shirts and hoodies and things like that. Let's see. It's a pretty straightforward merchandise store. It's just a branded con or branded products that people that are like legit would sell. And if you want to if you want to grab some of this stuff, I would of course always appreciate that. But that's kind of an e-commerce store. This one is built this one's kind of a hybrid of all of them, to be honest, because this is built on Shopify, which is a platform to create a website that's designed specifically for e-commerce stores. It's really, really easy to use. Like you can, I think it's super cheap too. Uh, I think it's like nine bucks a month. I actually have a discount for you too. If you check out my link in the description, that will help with that and, or that'll help you get started cheaper. 
uh, that this is just an easy way to put together a, qu a really quick retail store like this one or uh, e-commerce store like this one. And the reason I say it's a hybrid of all three is these products are actually print on demand products that are being drop sh called gear bubble. There's a few of these. There's Teespring, there's Gearbubble. Those are the two I'm most familiar with. This one I really like, though, because it lets you sell as like an, its own e-commerce platform. So if you want to use that instead of Shopify, you can sell on Amazon, on eBay, on Etsy, and just about anywhere. And you, all you have to do, basically, is you create a product. In fact, let's go ahead and kind of just look at one that I've made years ago. And this is embarrassing, but this is one I made, and I remember how I told you, you can get into just about any niche you want and make a business out of it. I had a coffee affiliate site slash niche market that I did a while back. Or I say a while back, it's been a good five years now, but I would sell stuff like this, coffee mugs, and it's not a very good design, which is a big part of why I got out of this industry is I don't have the creative skill for it, but I did pretty well with this. I think I sold a couple hundred of these, and, and you, you set the price, you create the design, and... It's a really fun business model, especially if you're a creative person, and then you just run ads or however you want to get traffic direct to it directly to a page like this, or you put it on a store similar to what I did here. So that's kind of how that works. The <clears throat> print on demand is probably my favorite of the three of those, but the easiest one to do is most likely just creating your own e-commerce store and having listing your own products and just finding a manufacturer to put them together for you. I don't want to say that's the easiest one, but drop shipping them from a place like aliexpress in creating a shopify store is probably the easiest one it's my least favorite though because the products they aren't always the greatest and it takes a long time but essentially you would just be creating a store like this and suppose that you want to go into the coffee mug niche you would sell send some traffic to your store And then you would list one of these items on the store, like maybe this one. It's kind of cool. Actually, I may grab one of these myself. And then when somebody orders it, you just order it directly from AliExpress and you send it to the customer from there. So that's kind of one of the more popular ones. I just, I don't like that it takes, you know, sometimes weeks and weeks and weeks to get the product for, over from China. So that's what I, my downside of it, but that's probably the most popular one. And like I said, you can get started really, really f cheap, actually for free. Just grab my link to Shopify and get started on that if you want to get started in e-commerce. So the upsides to this is it works in any niche. Like I showed you a couple there. There's coffee, there's branded merchandise, there's you know uh, blankets, there's supplements, whatever it is. There's something, anything that has a physical product that exists, basically, you can sell it in any niche. It's extremely scalable. I mean, Amazon is worth you know, a trillion dollars or something. But even lower than that, there are people that do hundreds of millions of dollars doing e-commerce. It's numerous sales channels. But like I said, you can do eBay, you can do Etsy, you can do Amazon, you can do your own store. You can, I think Facebook allows you to sell stuff on there. There's literally tons of ways to get traffic to your products and sell it. There's so, there's, you're not just tied down to one particular niche or industry or whatever. So, there's that, and it's future-proof, right? People are always going to want to buy things. So, you know, things like the dog training digital programs and courses that we talked about before, there's always a possibility that people just stop buying stuff like that, you know? And then the same same goes with affiliate marketing. The, the product, the person that created the product may just take it away, and all your hard work is gone. The thing with e-commerce is it's always going to exist, so... That's the next one is e-commerce slash dropshipping slash print on demand. And last but not least is a digital marketing agency. Now, this could be sell where you sell. This is where you sell marketing services to businesses and maybe even individuals, including things like SEO, which is kind of the one that I've always done. Uh, you can do social media marketing. That's really popular, thanks to Ty Lopez. Uh, you can do Facebook ads. That's another one that's really popular. You can do consulting. But basically, you're selling digital marketing services to clients. So let me give you kind of an example. So this is kind of... Uh, I don't know if you want to call it a dummy or a test agency site, a digital marketing agency site that I have, but it is what it is. It, I don't really do agency anymore. I used to. We still have, you know, 10 or 12 clients, but nothing, nothing too significant. Uh, but basically, this is it. You know, you would just sell SEO services, for example. You know, you, f you find a local plumber or a local, I don't know. Uh, 
roofer or dentist, those are all the examples that SEOs always use, but basically any business that needs to drive traffic to them to make more sales or phone calls or whatever they're whatever it is that they sell. So this is kind of, you don't have to have a website. I just did this so you'd have something visual, but basically you're going to pitch digital marketing services to your clients, whether it's Facebook ads, social media management, or uh, SEO, or whatever it is that you want to sell. This is the the model that you do it. The good thing about this, and we'll get into the advantages of it, but the good thing about this is there's tons of information on how to do the fulfillment. Now, a word of caution, you do need to learn how to actually do what you're selling. You don't have to master it, but you need to at least understand how to do it or have someone that can do it for you. A lot of people will tell you to learn as you go and just go out there and sell, and I just don't agree with that at all. But Basically, you're going to go out and you're going to sell these services to businesses, whether it's to restaurants or for social media or if it's you know, photographers for SEO or whatever it is. This is the, the model that a lot of people go with, it, the, and there's a lot to it. And my favorite thing about it is this, is that you can just get started right away. Like if you know how to sell, you, you can do it. You can start making money really quickly. Uh, like I said, I don't really do a lot of this anymore. I did at one point, and this was my main source of income at one point. Not this site. Like I said, this is just a placeholder dummy test site that I got done. But it, uh, the advantages to it are immense. For example, you get paid really, really fast, more so than any other model that we've we've talked about today. You can start getting paid right away. So you make a you go out there and you make a sale and you have you know one or two or three thousand dollars recurring in your pocket right away. And maybe you have to start smaller than that at five hundred dollars or whatever. But you can go from having nothing to having money faster than any other mo model that we talked about today. There's an unlimited amount of potential customers. Since you're selling to businesses, there's, at least in the United States, probably all over the world, there's literally an unlimited amount of businesses that, whether they realize it or not, they need services like this. They need advertising. They need search engine optimization. They need email marketing. They need social media management, and so on. So they, there's, not, there's no shortage of business to be had for this sort of thing. Uh, it's a quote-unquote real business. What I mean by that is some would look at affiliate marketing as just some, for example, sitting behind a computer pressing buttons and things like that. So with this, you can you know you can have an office, you can have a staff, you can go out and you know go to chamber meetings, and it's just a traditional business. And for some people, that's very important. It's highly scalable. You know, if you're getting thousand or two thousand or five thousand dollar a month clients, it only takes a few of those to turn into a really really healthy full time income, and it's future proof, right? As long as there's business, there's going to be a need to grow business and that's where you come in you're taking your digital marketing services and using them to sell businesses so that's kind of what makes it future proof right is there's always going to be a demand for it as long as the world remains digital so that's kind of the thing to it so that's the the final one today that is digital starting a digital marketing agency i do have some training on that in superstar seo academy which you can check out at superstarseo.com academy if you want to check that out that's cool uh, I'm not trying to pitch that here today, uh, but if you do want to learn more about online business, I have a $5 a month program where I will go into all these things. You'll get a daily email from me, a daily Facebook post, and a monthly web live Q&A webinar. And like I said, it's literally five bucks a month, it's cheaper than maybe most of us spend that a day on things that we don't even want or need. So check that out, profitacademydaily.com. Um, if you like videos like this, do me a favor, click the, help me out with the algorithm and click the like button, subscribe button, leave a comment. Turn on notifications. We're going to be doing a lot more YouTube in the coming days, weeks, and months. And I think that this is a valuable topic. I think it can really help turn things around for a lot of people. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know that too. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments as well. I'll personally respond to as many of them as I can. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you.